RPA technology can be used in two distinct ways, attended and unattended. Regardless of which approach you choose, you will have a Windows application performing tasks similarly to the way a human would, by opening applications, clicking through menus, entering text, etc. Sometimes you'll want to use RPA to assist with a specific portion of a process. Imagine that you log into your workstation, open specific files and applications, and then run an RPA bot to perform repetitive tasks with the open files and applications for you as you monitor it. If the bot encounters a situation that requires your judgment or an error, you have the opportunity to manually intervene. This is an example of attended RPA. You can think of it as a digital assistant. Other times, you'll want large amounts of input processed in the background. Think of a machine on an assembly line where the entire task is completed with minimal human interaction. This describes unattended RPA. The bot would run on its own window system in a server room or in the cloud, and the work would be completed on a schedule or on demand. Both scenarios use the same underlying technology, but the differences in the infrastructure and licensing implications are significant. If you have additional questions, please reach out and we will help you make a project plan. BP3 gives people faster ways to get things done. We streamline and automate the processes that drive everything from customer experience to employee productivity. For more information on robotic process automation and videos like these, subscribe to the BP3 Global YouTube channel.